prepare the room, ensure the room is warm, secure, the phones are off, that the couch is ready and comfortable, there are extra blankets on hand, and that the room feels inviting. So you might want candles, for instance, you might want soft lighting and soft music. Prepare yourself. By that, you need short nails, you need to be clean and ready so that you can massage without restricted movement within what you're wearing. You need to be grounded so it's nice to have feet flat on the floor and see yourself as grounded before giving quite a, possibly a light-headed or spiritual treatment. And you need to do some deep breaths in order to release any of your own tension and your own tightness before being able to give a nice relaxing body massage. Prepare the oils. By oils I'm talking about a carrier oil which can include a whole array of different sources. Some are nut based that those with allergies need to be aware of, for instance sweet almond and some can be beautifully healing in their own right even without essential oils being added. For instance, sunflower oil which has plenty of vitamins. And then you may like to select your essential oils depending on the person having a treatment, what their body requires, what ailments they may have. Settle and connect. By settle, I mean settle the person so that they're relaxed into the couch and you may want to stretch their shoulders out, move their hips slightly so that they're not bunched up and then by connect I mean hold the top and the bottom of the spine for instance just in a few seconds you feel that connection and you and they uh, are now able to start the treatment. Search and notice a searching massage is one where you're looking for areas to treat, whether that's tension or whether that's areas of uh, pain or soreness. That could be the skin or muscle underneath. It could be tension within the abdomen, for instance, not just the shoulders. And so a searching massage is one where you're actively aiming to treat each massage separately, individually and noticing is noticing those areas and then treating them accordingly so that you are uh, dealing with issues as you reach them. Posture and techniques. By posture I'm talking about your own posture. Make sure that you are balanced and grounded and when you're giving a massage that you're almost doing a dancing massage where you're balancing your way up and down the spine rather than reaching without having a base underneath your weight. It's very important to think about yourself during a massage. And secondly, your techniques. Use your whole toolbox of all the different massage techniques, including the effleurage, petrissage, and the knuckling, the vibration techniques, uh, in your little toolbox to be able to treat that back, neck and shoulders. Slow and firm. The best massages are ones that are slow enough to notice things and firm enough to treat those issues. People often ask me, how should a massage feel? How do I know if I'm doing it correctly? Ask for feedback from the person you're treating and make sure that you respond effectively. Towel management. It's really important to make sure your towels are covering all of the body parts not being treated. And that will provide security for the person being treated. They don't feel they're exposed or vulnerable. And it will also obviously keep them warm. It is important to keep muscle groups warm. And even when you have finished a section, for instance, the back, it is important to keep that area covered with a nice warm towel and I often have towels heating during the treatment so that at the end I can then cover all the massage and muscle groups that I've been working to keep those areas warm. 
close and ground. Bring your massage to a close by holding your hands in a flat palm position at the top and bottom of the spine in order to let the person know that you're coming to an end of that particular part of the treatment and it rounds off the treatment for them and ground means make sure that your person feels grounded at the end of a treatment and that is important because they quite often can feel lightheaded when they first get up after a treatment understandably and also they may have had quite a spiritual moment having a lovely treatment and you just want to get them up slowly give them a glass of water and talk to them nice and softly warm and feedback by warm I mean make sure they stay warm after a treatment it's quite often that my clients may feel cold after the hot towels have been on them and then as soon as they get up they suddenly feel cold and they need to have a nice heated room in order to get their clothes back on again and feel warm and secure and feedback is that it's interesting for them to have your feedback on the treatment so for instance what you may have found and how you treated it